potentially hazardous asteroids can show up anywhere in the night sky at any time. Oh, this might be something. Oh, you guys, look at that. Right now, it is absolutely a potentially hazardous object. If you guys were gonna be here for a discovery, a PHA is definitely what you want. <laughs> yeah. This is a big rock, yeah. What would an asteroid that is a kilometer in diameter, what would it do if it hit the Earth? That is likely to end human civilization. Those objects are big enough to cause what we would call truly global devastation, meaning that they could cause global extinction events. The good news is that we found more than about 95% of them. When we get down to smaller objects, things that are larger than, let's say, about 100 meters across or so, now the picture's not so rosy. Today, we do not have a complete inventory of all the possible impactors. There's almost certainly a, a decent-sized asteroid out there that is going to pose an impact threat to the planet. We're just trying to find it right now. And that is something that NASA and the worldwide planetary defense community has been endeavoring to do. There's a huge community of astronomers that start observing it. From all around the globe, finding asteroids, tracking them, calculating their orbits. Asteroids don't care about international boundaries. It doesn't matter where the asteroid impacts. It affects you know, the entire humanity. In fact, any, anything alive on the Earth. I really like that I'm protecting the planet. Let's say we do find something that poses an impact threat to Earth. What next? The day is coming when Earth will get impacted. The dinosaurs went extinct because they didn't have a space program. We do have one. We can. So why stop there? We know it will happen. We, we just don't know when it will happen.